Where possible, are off-campus elements organised to places that are accessible? If an off-campus element is necessarily inaccessible to a student, are you proactive in arranging an alternative experience to satisfy the learning outcomes of this student? Off-campus elements may be made inaccessible through a variety of means. The barriers your students may experience could include physical barriers, cultural barriers, financial barriers, or transportation barriers. For example, a location may be inaccessible for students with mobility difficulties, which would be a physical barrier. An example of a cultural barrier could be dietary constraints, or what is considered culturally acceptable modes of behaviour could act as a barrier to some students. An example of a financial barrier could be if your off-campus events are costly, then this can act as a barrier to students on limited budgets. In terms of location barriers, one example would be if your venue is inaccessible by public transport, then this may act as a barrier to some of your students. You should consider each of these elements when arranging off-campus teaching and request information from the organisations working within your off-campus venues regarding accessibility. You should ensure that these organisations will be ready and prepared to meet the needs of your students. Are students provided with information regarding off-campus teaching in advance? That is what it will involve, what preparation is needed in advance. Planning and preparation are essential when organising inclusive off-campus teaching opportunities. You should consider the barriers likely to exist in your off-campus venue or activities and consider how you can enable participation by all your students. This could involve changing your venue agreeing an alternative learning opportunity for affected students or modifying your activities. Regarding changing your venue, if an off-campus element is unnecessarily inaccessible, it is good practice to choose an alternative off-campus element that is accessible to all. For example, if you have the choice of a variety of similar venues for the same learning opportunity, it is good practice to choose the venue that is accessible to all students. Alternative learning opportunities Sometimes, it will not be possible to change your venue. Maybe your learning opportunity by its very nature is inaccessible. Or perhaps the learning opportunity can only take place in a unique location. For example, field trips to specific geographical, historical or geological sites. Or perhaps the learning opportunity can only occur at great expense. When this occurs, consider alternative modes of learning. For example, a virtual field trip using a specific computer program, or the use of audiovisual materials to allow access to inaccessible sites. Maybe you could record a visit to the site that future students can utilize.